the Seiko Baby Marine Master 200, one of my favorite washers, the SBDC061. Today I'm going to be talking about five things I hate about this watch. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris with another watch review. And as mentioned in the intro, I'll be talking about five things I don't love about the SBDC061 or Baby Marine Master. And getting right into it, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. And once you see it, you won't be able to unsee it. The chapter ring and the 12 o'clock indice do not line up. It's slightly askew to the left. And once you see that on this watch, it's something that I can't unsee now. And when I purchased the watch, I received it. I didn't see it. Now I've been wearing it for about six or seven months. Nothing I can do about it now. Um, but I just have to live with it. And it's, it's a quality control issue that a lot of Seikos suffer from, especially the low-end models. This is somewhat of a mid-range model. And the fact that this is happening on here is very disappointing. Like I said, it's something I didn't notice when I took it out of the box. I should have scrutinized it a little bit better, and I didn't. And now that's my fault. So, that's number one. That's my biggest problem with this watch, I would say. Number two biggest problem is the clasp. It just doesn't feel like a really good, well-made clasp, especially this diver's extension, which is pressed. The clasp itself is pressed. It is not milled. Um, the, the actual folding buckle is, but it's not terrible. It feels nice. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, but you know, a lot of micro brands are offering you a milled clasp, fully milled clasp with kind of ratcheting diving ex extensions. And they're a little bit better at doing this. And you know, for the money, you would you would hope that Seiko would get their game together and do something a little bit nicer, and they're not. So uh, that would be my number two. And that's not that big of a deal because I'm never going to use the diver's extension anyway. Uh, and the clasp, like I said, is is okay. It's not that bad. Um. So then I would say my number three is the unsigned crown. <clears throat> yep. So. On a price range, well, on a watch in this price range, it's hard to find a watch that doesn't have an unsigned crown. Um, most watches in this price range have an assigned crown. Again, if you go to Hamilton or or Bulova, they have signed crowns. It's weird that this watch doesn't have a signed crown. It's disappointing. Um, is it something that changes the aesthetic? No, you won't really notice it. Uh, however, I'm I'm just nitpicking, and and in this in this case. Like I said, for a watch that retails for almost eleven hundred dollars, having no having a crown that's unsigned is somewhat disappointing. So, you know, it's it's all up to taste, but I I really think that a watch at this price should have a signed crown. Uh, next, and something again that micro brands are doing really well that I think Seiko could be doing is color matching the date wheel. We have a white date wheel with a black matte dial. It's a deep black dial. And they could easily put a black date wheel in here. And it would probably not even cost them that much to do. However, it's something that Seiko doesn't do with a lot of their watches. And I think that's something that is a, uh, it's a mistake. And I, and, and like I said, you could buy a Zelos and they'll have a colored, match date wheel or, or a boulder or all these other micro brands, Manta and, and stuff like that. They're, they're popping up and they're putting in colored match date wheels. And not only just for black and white dials, they're putting it in for, you know, sp other specialty colors that they're offering. And, and it's, it works. So Seiko definitely you should get on this. And this is a, this is not my number five, but the, the bezel, although I love the bezel on this watch, a lot of micro brands, again, are using ceramic at a very low price. And I really like this lacquered aluminum. It looks, it looks amazing, but you could do the same thing, make it look the same way using ceramic. And, you know, it just adds to the longevity of that, of that bezel. Um, then again, you know, there's an argument, 
maybe you don't want that longevity. Maybe you want the patina. Maybe you want it to get scratched up. Maybe you want it to look faded. That's, you know, that's another, that's another argument for, for having, you know, traditional materials for the bezel. Anyway, my last complaint I would say is the box. So, and I've complained about this in other videos. This box is garbage. Uh, cardboard, light, very cheap. Even the pillow feels cheap. It just, it, it just feels like absolute crap. This, when you press it in, it feels like it's just your fingers are going to go right through it. It feels like paper. It is paper. Cheap. Just really garbage. And, and again, I'll bring up brands like Bulova or Citizen. They're offering these watches at similar prices with better boxes. And Seiko has the ability to create better boxes. They're just not doing it because people are buying the watches and they don't really care about the boxes. Believe me, I, I'm not that crazy about having good boxes because I just take the box, I put it in the closet, and it sits there. But, you know, it's all about the presentation. So, you know, this is a really cool watch, a really beautiful watch. Why not have it a little bit in a better presentation? Anyway, wristwatch check. This is my um, SKX Pepsi bezel, the 009. I've uh, been wearing this for quite some time now. I'm going to do an update. I love this watch. Uh, I got this actually shortly after I got the SBDC 061 because I loved it so much and I figured, hey, let me try out the um, SKX because it's so similar. And I just, I love it. It's really, it's really a great watch and it's good for traveling. Um, anyway, if you like this video, pre please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when I upload videos. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Please add comments, ask me questions, tell me what I'm not doing well, tell me what I could do better. Um, I am open to all suggestions. Thanks for logging on and have a good one.